I need you to come up to people and say, I see data because that's what I want you to see here. We've picked employee number as the distribution key. It happens to have a lot of unique values because it is unique and that data is going to spread perfectly evenly. That's a good distribution key right there. When you query this table using the distribution key in the WHERE clause, well, they know how they laid the data out. They know where that row is at, exactly which SPU. That's going to be a single SPU retrieve. Let's see that data again, but this time the distribution key we picked was DEPNO. Take a look at this. The data is not spread evenly, but it's reasonable, so it's probably going to be okay. Remember, a query is only as fast as to slow a SPU. So we can see here that the data isn't perfectly distributed. But what do you notice about that? All like values, like the 100s went to one SPU, the 300s went to another SPU, they're sticking together. And that's also a very important design. You don't always have to get perfect distribution. You want good distribution, but you also want to pick a distribution key that people are querying on. That's going to really help speed things up. We've got multiple people in Department 100, so when we query it, isn't it going to be an all SPOO query? No, because that's the distribution key. We only go to one SPU to get all of the people in Department 100. Here we have a multi-column distribution key of first name and last name. Now, they'll combine those together, hash them with the formula, and they'll spread those. They're even this time because we don't have any duplicate first and last names. You know, if you think about it, you might pick just last name as your distribution key and all of the Smiths go to one SPU. But if you picked first name and last name as your distribution key, the Mary Smith would go to one SPU and the John Smith would go to another SPU. And that's quite often why you might have a multi-column distribution key. But it really isn't quite that simple and you're going to see that next when we go to query this. If you've got a multi-column distribution key, such as first name and last name, you're going to have to get a query that uses both in the WHERE clause, where we might say WHERE first name is equal to this and last name is equal to this, and then and only then can they say, ah, I know where that data is at. Natiza invented the distribute on random. So as you can see here, we're going to be able to guarantee perfect distribution among those SPOOs. Now, we're not going to be able to get a single SPU retrieved because we're using the distribution key in the WHERE clause, but for a lot of certain type of tables and certain type of queries, we're going to want to distribute on random. Sometimes when they're moving data from Oracle to Natiza and they don't know how it's going to be queried on the data warehouse, they'll start off sometimes with everything distributed by random and then as they see the queries coming in from those users, they'll actually begin to pick a better distribution key. But the distribute on random for even distribution, it's a real clever design. The full table scan is going to be the slowest query you're going to see on Natiza for the most part. But what I want you to understand is that on a full table scan, each SPU is going to go through each one of its rows sequentially one time. And since it's all done in parallel, this is very fast processing and that's going to be why you want to be able to have a system that can grow linearly. Sometimes you're going to have to go through massive amounts of data and have an enormous amount of SPOOs being able to all share the workload. That's fantastic. It's like you happen to move and you've got a hundred friends there to help you. Here is a very common mistake. As you can see, we have two tables here. On the far right here, we have a distribute on random. So we know how that data is going to be distributed but we forgot to pick the distribution key in the first example. What's Natiza going to do? Well, it actually is a little bit more complicated than this, but you can just about guarantee 99% of the time 
it's going to pick the first key in the table, EMPNO in this case, and make that the distribution key. So make sure when you're creating these tables, put your distribution key out there. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Start your Nateza journey the right way by reading our Brilliance of Nateza book. Visit coughingdw.com for more information.